let's be honest. When you guys come to watch Supercross, you come to see some air. I know the riders, they love the air. That's exactly why I race Supercross, just to get these jumps. Most of the time, things go right, but sometimes it can get a little sideways. One of the things you guys probably don't realize is that in the air, it's a great spot to try and bring your heart rate down. These guys' heart rates are so high, it's one of the only spots on the track that they can recover. Take some deep breaths, get set, get ready for the next section. In terms of adjustments, you're gonna see them maybe adjust their clutch lever. If you get a little slack, they can tune in their clutch while they're racing. Also, you can tap the rear brake. If the front end's a little bit high, you can slam that rear brake and it changes the gyro of the bike, brings the nose down, prepares for a better landing. Sometimes you'll see a guy with his nose down, grab a handful of throttle and bring up their RPMs, and the inertia of the engine brings the nose of the bike up, so it changes the attitude. But you can use the air for ripping some tear-offs, looking at the competitors, seeing who's around you, kind of scoping out the situation. Also, you can see the riders moving around a lot, laying it sideways and big triples. Some people even get nicknames from it. My dad called me Showtime. When you can style, you feel good, you look good, it builds confidence, and of course, you're doing it for the fans. And finally, things can happen up here. There's no flight plan, there's no painted lines, there's no restricted airspace. These guys can run into each other and all that, but hopefully at the end, all these riders want to do is use this airtime for style and victory.